But so much is happening. And all the food, survival food, is sold out in America. We were on the air a few days ago talking about it. With Mark Augustin. I just, I, just, I just hung up right now from Mark Augustin. He said, all the food's sold. He said, it's sold on all the companies. You can go to Amazon. It'll say sold out, back ordered. This is serious. I've tried to warn people, be ready. Now, our food company is going to make food. They're not already, listen to me. Their factories are already 24 hours a day. And the food in days, at probably after this week, the food will take months. You'll, you, you'll be in a backlog of, of months. So if you are interested in preparing yourself mm -hmm. for what could be coming. Right. Now, just as we went on the air uh, and, and last night, there was a headline, Mondo. Yes, sir. About uh, a Chinese man mm -hmm. in the United States, mm -hmm. and he was doing an interview. Yes, absolutely. This is the billionaire whistleblower is what they're calling him. He was having an interview with the former White House chief strategist, Steve Bannon, and the information that this whistleblower brought to the table shocked probably every media outlet right now is going viral. The information he said this, one, he believes, I quote, 1.5 million people are confirmed with the coronavirus in China. But this is the shocking part, over he believes over 50,000 bodies are being cremated right now, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is unheard of. Usually a crematory is run, you know, for the whole week, maybe four or five hours a week. Well, this one right now in Wuhan is running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And he's saying this, China, the media, the people are not telling us the truth of the real numbers of what he predicts and he believes of the people that are dying, not the people that are being quarantined, the deaths that were not being reported, he believes is probably in the millions already. Wow. We're not being told. Mm -hmm. Just last night to this morning, there are 15,000 new infection cases as well as 250 new deaths that have already taken place within 24 hours. So those numbers are jumping and skyrocketing as we're speaking. And if you're watching the show, you really need to take into consideration you should be calling the number right now because they're even saying food prices are soaring in China. And it does have to do with the statistic Bureau acknowledged the role of the coronavirus is playing a causing role in the prices escalating. 